Well, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, I am a dad, and here's one thing that is unique to me today, is that Father's Day definitely takes on a new meaning when you become a dad. I mean, when we were younger, uh, you know, we would make a card or fill out a card, hand it to our dad, you know, thanks for being my dad, and here's a tie. You wear ties, right? You know, uh, but when you become a dad, those things are nice, but what we're all secretly wondering about today is how much can we get away with today? You know, we're all wondering, can I, can I sleep in today? Like, how late is too late? Can I play nine holes of golf or 18, right? How, much, how big of a meat thing can I barbecue today and not share it with family? <laughs> or do I even need to put real pants on today? Right. Yeah. But that's all fun. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret about Father's Day. Being a dad is hard. And I will pause and let all the women roll their eyes for a second. Um, and I was true that moms do take to this parenting things more naturally. Um, I'm not saying that dads don't know how to do it. Uh, we just do it differently than women. And, you know, honestly, it's not worth the argument or the fight. But all joking aside, it is hard being a dad. And it's not because we are exhausted raising our kids, running around with them, but it's because we are exhausted by how often we beat ourselves up. Now, hear me through on this. Because we can beat ourselves up on a lot of things, but a big chunk of that worry can be about how we are at being a dad. We never talk about it, but deep down, we do scrutinize ourselves about all the missed opportunities we've had with our kids. We know in our hearts that we should have handled a certain situation a, a little differently. Or, why am I yelling at my kids right now? I'm the one that had a bad day at work, and now I'm taking it out on the kids and their mom. You know, I haven't been a dad for very long, but it is safe to say that dads are extremely hard on themselves. For example, about a month ago, we were meeting about what we're going to do for Father's Day here at Kingship. The plan was, it was just brought out in the beginning of the meeting. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a garage sale auction, right? That's awesome. It went well. It went great. We're going to have a keynote speaker. Awesome. I immediately posed the question, who do you have in mind for a keynote speaker? And I knew right away by the side-eye glance by a man that will remain nameless, <laughs> that it was me. You know, I accepted graciously, as everyone probably would, but on the inside, I could already hear my inner critic revving up. Me, a keynote speaker on Father's Day, but I'm not a good dad. I have failed lots of times already. I mean, my kids are young, I don't have any experience, I don't have what it takes to do this, and you know, I do have notes of my young fatherhood things, but are they really key for others? So of course, I started thinking about this constantly. Uh, I was trying to figure out something I could talk with some level of confidence up here about being a dad, but all I could think about was the fear, the fear of speaking in front of a bunch of people, and the fear of being found out that I don't have this dad thing figured out, and I'm just a phony. And then it hit me. If all I can think about is fear, then why not talk about it? Why should, why should I, I should talk about the real fears that I have about being a dad and share them with you all. If I'm anxious about my fathering, then others have got to be anxious as well. So that's where I did. I just jumped in there. I dove into my fears. I read articles of other dads sharing their fears. I even talked to friends about their fears and being a dad. And I was reminded a quote kept playing over and over in my head, but we're going to get to that shortly. So I'll bear it out. What are my fears in being a dad? The first one is that I will screw up and miss crucial opportunities to build lasting memories with my kids because I'm in a mood. The second is that I will say or do something that will inevitably scar my kids so deeply and it will cause them to go down a path of destruction. And the third, that my fathering will taint how my kids see God the Father. Pretty heavy stuff, right? 
But remember, being a dad is hard. Now, it's definitely been interesting in covering some of these fears that stir inside of me. But one of the greatest discoveries through it all was realizing that I'm not alone. I mean, list after list that I read, friend after friend that I talked to, all confirmed that we dads all have fears together. We just rarely talk about them with each other. And all these fears that they all talked about, they seem to conveniently fit into five categories. The first one is being a failure or poor example, not being able to provide financially, being incompetent, the relationship with our wife has or it will change, and it's a lot of work and not a lot of fun. Now, if any of these resonate with you, congratulations, you're normal. Welcome to dadding. Now, don't let those become a reality. If you're already knee deep in these fears, don't worry, there's still time to do what we men do best, and that's fix them. Which brings me to the quote I referenced earlier. Now, besides being one of the great surf movies of all time, Point Break offers a nugget of wisdom when it comes to the fears in our lives. And the quote is as follows. Fear causes hesitation, and hesitation will cause our worst fears to come true. Us dads hesitate too much. We don't do it all the times, and sometimes it is good to hesitate. Like when you come up to a stop sign, we should hesitate at a stop sign to make sure we're not gonna get clobbered by the cross traffic coming across. But when it comes to our fears, especially the ones that have to do with our kids, I would argue that we do hesitate too much. Because we certainly don't hesitate when it comes to things that we aren't fearful about. I mean, life is difficult. We are faced with tough decisions and events all the time, but I bet we hesitate more in our parenting than we do in, in our everyday lives. You know, I don't have, I didn't have a survey or hard data on that, but knowing myself and the, my, the people I talk to, there is some validity to that. And Patrick Swa the, the words of Patrick Swayze rings true. When we hesitate in our fears, especially those that have to do with our kids, we risk those fears becoming a reality and dealing with the consequences later. Now, being a man and a dad and a disciple of Jesus, we should strive to find what it looks like to follow Jesus, especially when God calls us to hard things. Proverbs, the wisdom literature that's in the Bible, speaks directly to this, and it's on your little handout. It's in the bottom left-hand corner. And it says, the fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Now, I'm going to be honest, it is easy to write these words and come up here and talk to you all about this, but I don't want to be a hypocrite, because how in the world do I have the right to talk about any of these things when I struggle myself with following Jesus, especially with my fears. But I do know this, that when things get hard, when I'm out of my comfort zone, I want to run towards the fear. That's what Jesus followers do. We move toward hard things. We don't run away from hard things. And this is what Jesus meant when he said to take the narrow road. Many are going to choose the wide path, but it's hard to follow me. So being a dad is hard, but we shouldn't hesitate because it's hard. Instead of our fears holding us back, we should move in those fears so they don't become realized. Not hesitating means we need to act when we want to take a back seat and pretend it's not a big issue. And the first thing we can do in not hesitating is bringing those fears to light where encouragement and accountability reign. So we should first lean and trust into God, who, by the way, directly identifies as Father to us. So we should lean on our Father about the fathering we are scared about. And then we need to take those fears and share them with the other dads. Dads who are younger, dads who are older, knowing that their experiences can help them through ours. Like I said, us men are good at fixing things, and we really are. We really are good at that. But we're also good at bottling up our emotions. If you want to be the dads that don't let our fears dictate how we raise our kids, then we can't hesitate. 
If we want to be the dad we know we can be, or the dad we want our kids to be one day, then we need to personally and intentionally step into the hardship of raising kids. If we don't want to be a failure or a poor example to our kids, then don't hesitate when opportunities arise to be a hero in your kids' lives. And if you fear how expensive it will be, don't hesitate in being more fiscally or fiscally responsible and using what little you have to teach yourself about the joy and gratitude that you do have and then let your kids see that. If you're feeling incompetent, don't hesitate to reach out for wisdom from the dads that went before you and build a skill base that you can grow and eventually pass on yourself. If you're feeling distant from your wife, don't hesitate to pursue her the same way you did when you didn't have kids. I mean, I get it. We're tired. But your wife is worth it. Are your kids sucking the fun out of you? Don't hesitate to get over yourself. Fun doesn't always have to be about you, and the fun and effort you create now, it only creates a rhythm and a bond that is unique to kids and their dads. If you need an example, watch the cartoon Bluey. There's a reason that show is the most popular for kids. We only get one shot at raising our kids, and we shouldn't hesitate to instill the values we so desperately want our kids to have, right? And it starts with both parents, dad and mom, not hesitating in our kids' lives. If we truly are followers of Jesus, then shouldn't we emulate his, his character? Now pick any gospel and read it. And then tell me where Jesus hesitated. He didn't hesitate to talk to people. He didn't hesitate to pray. He didn't hesitate to feed people. He didn't hesitate to take time alone. He didn't hesitate to stay with people he shouldn't stay with. He didn't hesitate to ask questions, to cry, to trust in God, and to heal the broken and the crippled. And he didn't even hesitate for us, for the sinners, for his death. Being a dad is hard. It is. But fears are normal, but they don't have to dictate how we dad. And here's the truth, men out there. You can be the dad God is calling you to be. You can but it's not going to be because you squash down your, your fears so no one could see them. It will be by the grace of God and the Spirit working in and through you, guiding you, so you won't seek hesitation, but rather you'll seek fatherhood. Now, I had to put this into practice myself uh, a couple weeks ago. We had to put our dog down a couple weeks ago. And it was really hard for the family. It was hard for me. And I could tell my oldest son was really affected by it. He just wasn't himself in the days after. He missed his dog. And so I put this into practice. Instead of taking the back seat and doing what I'm doing, I'm going to get over it, right? The same, he can get over it the same way I'm doing it. It'll, by, when days pass, it'll get easier and easier. But I saw him down, and I just I, I looked at him. I got down eye level, and I said, are you OK? And he said, no, I miss my dog. I'm really sad. And I said, you know what, buddy? I am too. And it's really hard. But guess what? It's, it, it's going to be hard together. We're going to do this together. You know, I'm not an expert when it comes to not hesitating your lives. I'm still trying to do it myself. But what I've realized in writing this is that I, I see how important it is, no matter the age of your kid, young or old, it is highly important that we don't hesitate in our kids' lives.